Welcome to New Strength. I'm Christina Cook Lee. New Strength is a daily devotional offering hope and encouragement to people who are trying to get and stay free from depression and or dependency. If you're viewing directly on YouTube, you can read along with me. By clicking on the description area below the screen, you'll see that all the words are there for you. And if you're on my New Strength blog, of course the words are there for you as well. Thanks for joining me. Our topic is justice. The focus, confession, forgiveness, and cleansing. The scripture, 1 John chapter 1, verses 8-10 through 10, from the New King James Version of the Bible. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make Him a liar, and His word is not in us. Recently, I heard about a religious group who believe that when they become saved, they don't sin anymore. They think they have God in them, so they can't sin. I was contemplating that idea a few days ago, and an interesting illustration came to mind. I'm not sure where some people would draw the line between a sin and a mistake, but the real point is human error happens. I'm guessing that if you can't sin, then you wouldn't be able to make mistakes either. But think about this. What if you were reaching for a glass bottle of molasses from a high cupboard in the kitchen? Molasses is sticky stuff used for baking, in case you aren't familiar with that word. Let's say you had the bottle in your hand, but for whatever reason it slipped out of your hand and fell on the floor. It was a mistake. If you were a god, you wouldn't have let it slip, but you did. You should have been able to catch it as it was falling to the floor, but for some reason you weren't able to catch it, and it smashed on the nice clean tile floor. Oh dear. Now there's sticky stuff and broken glass all over the place. So, if you were a god, would you just leave all that sticky stuff and glass all over the floor as though it wasn't really there? Would you be able to will it to be cleaned up all by itself? Or would you have to walk around it so as not to spread it all through your house? Or would you, as a god, be able to walk through it and not get it on your feet? Is it further possible that you could walk through it and not get messy or cut but others who are not gods would get messy and cut if they walked through it. The whole thing sounds pretty ridiculous, doesn't it? The answer is, of course you can't will it to be cleaned up, and of course you would get messy and possibly cut if you walked through it, and of course you should take responsibility for your mess and clean it up. Let's face it, we are not gods. Even if we have received Jesus Christ as our Savior and are filled with the Holy Spirit, we can still make mistakes and sin in spite of all of our efforts not to. After we have repented from our sinful nature, we still have to make right choices and do our part every day to live according to God's principles. We can't just write our own rules or think that we are above God's rules. When we acknowledge our sinfulness and ask God to forgive us, He does through the power of the blood of Jesus, which was shed on our behalf as a sacrificial payment for our sin. Blood sacrifice was not a human idea. It was God's idea. Remember, we can't write our own rules. He is the author of our faith and his guidebook, the Bible. He alone is capable of forgiving our sins and cleansing us from all unrighteousness. Once our sins have been forgiven, we don't enter into some state of spiritual amnesia. We can't automatically forget our history. But after forgiveness comes cleansing. It is part of being set free. We are initially washed and continually cleansed as a beautiful ongoing process when we choose the path of righteousness instead of unrighteousness. It is a delightful thing, really. It is the perpetual act of God setting us free. Whenever an awful memory of failure comes to mind, we receive the benefit of peace with our past as we are cleansed of things we can't go back and change or fix. If we sin, we confess, receive forgiveness, and are cleansed. The cycle of confession, forgiveness, and cleansing should cause us to live in a state of humble gratitude. God is watching us as we try to live right, but when we stumble momentarily, He is there to hear our confession, help us clean up the mess, and keep moving forward. Declaration, I will find new strength by not writing my own rules or ignoring God's rules. I will live in humble gratitude for the blood of Jesus and the forgiveness I have received. I will not take the importance of confession, forgiveness, and cleansing for granted. Thanks for taking the time to listen. I would really appreciate it if you would like this segment. And if you wouldn't mind, please share it with someone else who might also benefit from it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the New Strength Devotional channel on YouTube and on WordPress, and then a link will come to you every day in your email with a segment like this. 
And if you're already a subscriber, I'll look forward to meeting with you again tomorrow. My prayer is that you will find new strength day by day and endless blessings. I'm Christina Cook-Lee.